Just fake people in general. Now I know a lot of people ask me why do I keep talking about fake friends, or why do I keep talking about this uh, a topic like that? Um, the people that you hang around with, the people that you chill with, the people that you choose to let in your life. I'm not talking about. Cause there's two sides to us. There's one side that we show the world, and there's one side that we show everybody else. And I think that side that you show everybody else should not go to cheap people. And the people that you spend time with is very detrimental to your health. Not only your health, just your time period. Because your time does not belong to everybody. Time wasted with the wrong people uh, cannot be bought back, cannot be gotten. And um, sometimes people that you hang around with is people that you could slowly turn into. You can always become the person that you never wanted to be, depending on the people that you hang around with. You know, uh, I guess to get into it, you know, well, relationship-wise, for you people out there, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, um, you shouldn't be doing anything just to please somebody. Like JC said, if that man doesn't want to stay there, he won't, no matter what you do. So, you could cook somebody, or you could cook him five-star meal, you could wash his clothes, cater to him, give him head like your life depends on it, um, and he can still fuck the next chick and tell you goodbye. Same with... A lot of it's the same with girls. Girls ain't slow. Um, did I ever go through this in a relationship? No, but um, there's a lot of cheating women because you know I'm about equal rights. Um, black, white, whoever, equal is equal. You know, there's a lot of girls out here who does the same thing. Um, Oh, sorry, just trying to get in focus here. Yeah, so, again, don't try to hold on to something that's so far gone or hold on to a person just because you got history with them. Because, again, if you give people an inch, they'll take a mile. If you give people a note, they'll take a footnote. They will do whatever it is, you know, They'll do whatever it is to um, keep themselves happy and not give a flying crap about you. You know, it's like whatever girl I choose to get into a relationship with will just have to be, you know, very confident and very real. You know, I don't care what the others think, <laughs> just be straight with me. You know, keep it real. You know, because it seems in this generation it's very hard for people to keep it real. You know, because like with me, I do what I want. I, I don't do stuff for people to like me. Because I feel like the ones, like Dr. Seuss said, to those who mind don't matter and to those who matter don't mind. It's a very true statement. <laughs> you know, so that's, what, and with, when it comes to friends, you know, you gotta, there's a lot of people you, I mean, you can know people, but you can never really too much know people. You know, people always have ways of changing and um, showing you who they truly are. Um, especially when they get mad, you know, don't take, I mean, sometimes when we get mad, we say things we don't uh, mean. But again, still don't forget because again, people, 
um, have a way of sh showing you who they are. They may not say it, but they act actions speak louder than words to me. Yeah, words do mean something, but actions do speak louder than words. Um, yeah, so again, your time is not should not be wasted to people who don't really you know care about you. Don't try to be down with people who don't really care for you, because it, it just sets yourself up for failure. And people who don't really belong in your life in general, because not everybody deserves you. Because like with me, I know I'm a good friend. And sometimes family ain't always blood. You know, I just see too many of the, um, people trying to fit in, trying to do whatever it is to keep somebody around, and that person ain't worth. And it's especially good if you're in high school or college or just in life in general, you know. Quit trying to hang on to people who do not matter. Do not please people who do not matter. And I, I keep talking about that just because I see it a lot. Just like how Beyonce talks about female empowerment. A lot of people are like, oh, well, can you talk about something? Was it, can she talk about something else? No, because she probably sees that a lot. So she has that's what she's going to talk about. Just like with me, I, I talk about fake friends and just other stuff in general. But that's just something that I do see going on a lot. And... Um, you know, I see too many good people get um, tossed in the dirt for something, um, some, for people who don't matter. Because the best feeling in the world is when you finally could let go of a person who you thought was everything and, and they really wasn't anything. Um, yeah. I feel very confident talking about the situation. Might do some story times, because um, it seems to be a lot. Um, the hit on YouTube, but um, yeah, I'm just keeping it very general, just general statement, you know, be careful who you trust, do not trust everyone, and always be yourself, because again, you always got to watch um, people with um, slick comments and backhanded comments, because um, sometimes that's what they be truly uh, trying to say, some people be trying to seriously joke. Uh, I had to get rid of certain people out of my life. They're probably lurking on my channel. If you're seeing this, hey, I see you. I see you looking with your looking ass. But, um, yeah, they probably subscribe to this channel, so I ain't about to give nobody no shine, no fame off of my for um, fortunes. And neither should you. So if you're going through that, um, don't hold them to somebody just because you guys have history. Sometimes you can know somebody for 15 years and that's 16, and when the 16 year come up, they start acting funny. And you might ask them, why are you, well, you, know, why are you acting on brand new? Oh, well, we didn't know each other for a long time, so, you know, well, we've known each other for a long time, that's the problem. I need something new. Again, people, um, nothing's really set in stone. Sometimes you might find um, a friend for a lifetime, but um, don't go looking for friends because you always find fake people. And don't trust a person who has a lot of friends because usually I do, usually they'll do anything to keep them. And um, yeah, because the best friendships usually happen organically. You have friends for a reason, friends for a season, and friends for a lifetime. Uh, friends for a reason, you guys might be in military or you guys might have met at a clinic or wherever. And you guys are friends for that reason. For that reason, if they don't call back or whatever, don't try to get in contact with them. Just like friends for a season. You might be in class. You guys might be going through group sessions. And um, you guys might be friends for just that season. Or you guys were in the theater play. And you guys are friends for that, um, for that time being. And then after the play is over, after school is over, whatever, you guys don't see each other. Or that person ain't trying to hit you up after you hit them up or whatever. Again, let it be. Don't try to force anything that um, was for a season. You guys had your good times, take your good memories, and walk away. Then you have those friends for a lifetime, which is very hard to find now in this generation. But, um, yeah, those are the friends that you can really... You don't have to watch what you say around them. Because people do like to talk. 
everything ain't for public knowledge. You know, you can keep things to yourself. Don't let it just because people post stuff on social media. Um, let them think that you have to tell everybody all your business. Because some people don't really care about your life. They just want to talk about you. Um, nothing in this world, unless it's to help somebody, but nothing really does. Nothing really does any good to you putting your business up. Putting your business out there, just putting your business out there. You know, you should be mysterious like Sade. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Because <laughs> yeah. um, the thing about people who are private, they tell you enough. They don't tell you everything. They just tell you enough just to make you think you know everything. Because a lot of people... <laughs> Oh, sorry, hair got in my mouth. Um, a lot of people think they know me. A lot of people create stories thinking they know my life, and, and they really don't. Um, but that's the thing. I tell enough, but I just tell enough just so you think you know everything. You gotta be mysterious like Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. Or Common, or other um, people who don't put they, everything on the forefront. Because, like the song said, our lips are still. Some people have no shield, no secrets to reveal. So they're going to try to reveal yours. So, um, yeah, that's just what I want to spit. Um, spit my game. Comments, questions, concerns. You know where to leave them. And, yeah, anything you want me to talk about? Any question? Question video? Whatever. I am more than happy to do it. Until then, this has been your boy Chris of the X on that Bohemian rap Saudi. I feel like I look like Chili right now. Mix a little green. I uh, feel like Bob Marley, huh? <laughs> Alright. Until next time. Peace.